Hello, uh, once again, this is Pastor Sean coming with you or coming at you with a video of DCP, the weekly uh, Wednesday video that I upload on Wednesdays. Actually, had this uh, complete, almost completely finished. Uh, about a five minute video that I actually just recorded that I had to delete uh, because while uh, filming outside, uh, the pool, my parents' pool guy came in. And I didn't feel comfortable continuing to talk about the subject that I was talking about. So, um, I was listening to the podcast of Dr. James White's show, and they were going on for a while, actually, before I get into the topic um, about what tribbles are. I don't, I don't really understand what the what is a tribble or tribbles, but the sound tech guy was laughing with. Uh, Dr. White about how one of the guys that works at the studio doesn't know what the Tribbles are because he's never seen Star Trek. Now, putting in the comments there what exactly it is because uh, I don't know, even though I do watch Star Trek. And um, actually, I was having a discussion with my best friend last week uh, where we were talking about the show and he said that Star Trek is... Star Wars for smart people, which, you know, it does make a whole lot of, it, to me, it does make a whole lot of sense because the show was, um, I mean, even though this, I think the show is so cheesy and ridiculous that it's great. It's just my personal opinion. Uh, every time it comes on me TV on Saturday nights, I always like turn it on. I mean, I was, uh, I was having a date with a girl a couple months ago where when I walked in, her and her cousin were watching, uh, Star Trek. And uh, this guy with a green face who had a huge brain uh, took William Shatner and like he like threw him and did this weird side body slam thing, which was it was so <laughs> so ridiculous. It was hilarious. I like pointed at the TV and I was like, "What was that?" So, uh, anyways, so to get on to the point of the topic here, I was actually uh, going to talk about the London. Which I already did talk about, but I'll do it again. The London uh, truck attack. Uh, because on Dr. White's show, um, he went over there to do a debate with... Uh, he was doing some type of debate. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, debate with a guy over in London when it happened. When that guy uh, plowed his truck into a bunch of people. I don't really know exactly what happened. Uh, because I'm trying to stay away from those things right now of, I mean, it's very, um, it's, it's becoming more increasingly difficult to go on to, uh, Twitter because of all the politics, you know, reading about the riots in the news and whatnot, what's been going on in Portland and New York and California. And it's even getting to the point where I'm just getting sick of looking at Facebook because like half of my post, well, not half my post, but. A good quarter of my posts are all about, you know, politics and the whole thing about Trump and whatnot. I'm just going to try to take a step back from those things and take a step back from watching Fox News and my other political shows like, you know, Ben Shapiro show and whatnot. But anyways, what was really interesting is um, when he was over there in London, Dr. White, uh, the first person to show him a, or send him, I mean, a text message to say, hey, are you okay, was from one of his Muslim friends. So, the thing is, you can't lump together all people. I mean, even though I do understand that every time there is a terrorist attack somewhere in Europe that has been going on, like a, it's like shootings now in the U.S., it's a weekly thing, or it seems like it's a weekly thing that's been going on in Europe and America here, uh, it's coming from the same countries, Libya and Syria. And the countries that are not having these terrorist bombings or attacks or car attacks or shootings or whatever, like places like Saudi Arabia, there's, it's not really, like, it is going on. It's not going on in Warsaw, you know, Russia. It's not going on in China. It's not going on in Japan. Like, the places where these people are not being let in, it's not happening in those places, but I'm not exactly, even though it's true, I'm not placing blame entirely on the Muslim population. I just believe as a Christian, it's not right to be lumping all those people in together 
uh, completely to say, even though a lot of Muslims are not coming out to say, oh, well, we're not going to stop terrorist attacks or anytime ISIS does something or whatever faction, whatever guerrilla faction does something, um, that they're not holding marches and whatnot to stop it or, or say that they want to stop it and they want to be praying for peace and whatnot because they reject those parts of the Quran that talks about um, killing the infidels. So there are a whole lot of Muslims that do not support those things and they reject those teachings from Muhammad and Allah. And my thing is, well, what Dr. James White had um, said in one of his debates against one of his best friends who was, uh, who was a Muslim teacher, or what is called a prophet in a religion, um, is that when they were sitting down for lunch one day before they actually had the debates against each other, is that during lunch, uh, Dr. White's main thing that he prayed for, one of the things that he liked to pray for, was that Jesus Christ would be revealed to his friend, the Muslim teacher, and that he would accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, and that the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will be indwelled into him. And that the greatest wish uh, by his Muslim friend, I'm not, re I, I don't remember what his name is. I mean, you could, you can look him up. Uh, we've typed in Dr. James White, um, the Dividing Line podcast. Um, is that his Muslim friends, his greatest wish in his heart was for Dr. James White to submit to um, the laws of Islam. So, but they are still able to be friends and um, really get along with each other, which is something that the Christians are supposed to be doing regardless. We are to be known by our love, and love covers a multitude of sins. So, with when it comes to my thing, like, you should not hate on Muslims for what's going on in the world. I understand that it is a concentration from the areas where it's at, but even... Uh, Jesus was talking about Matthew. You have to turn the other cheek. Instead of walking one mile, walk two miles. You should still love on the Muslim people and, and also have an understanding that all, not all Muslims are going to do things like that or are going to pray for things like that to happen where they're blowing themselves up and whatnot for, for a law. So um, we just need, as Christians, we should pray for them, pray for their salvation uh, but continue to love them and be there for them.